So Kenneth, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation, you mentioned that if people want to kind of pivot or change to an industry, try to find someone in that industry to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And we know that LinkedIn is the best way to reach the people, uh, follow companies uh, and build a relationship. So how can they use LinkedIn the best? And as an expert, what are the tricks or is there anything that people are not using and you see that it's a must to use? Well, the first thing is LinkedIn is not your resume. Mm -hmm. it is not your resume. Maybe chronologically you want to list the things you've done, but you have an ability to market yourself. And a lot of people in transition have a really hard time with marketing yourself. It's all yeah. about what did I do with my past skills that will make me, uh, what's in it for me from a hiring manager or a job seeker. And that's one thing, the title, the heading, you have 220 characters to be searchable. Yes. Every job. You can be searchable by skills, adding your skills to each job because mm -hmm. it's a numbers game. Yeah. You want to first get their attention, then you want to engage. And those are two major things that I see most people don't really do enough of. So the headliner is very important. Keith. Absolutely. What about the about section? What they should write there? Well, the first thing to keep in mind is that you have 2,600 characters, but most people are not going to read the entire section, that, mm -hmm. but they will search for it. The first three to four lines, that's all people are going to see. So you want to grab their attention. It's not a resume. Yeah. I'm an experienced person with 20 plus years. Yeah. Everyone is experienced. You can add something called top skills there. That's mm -hmm. a new thing. And those will be coming from your platform, um, from your skills. That's also searchable. Yeah. Ask yourself this question. Do a reverse search on people in your industry and find out why they're showing up on top. Mm -hmm. First, people actually do the searching on there. And how do you differentiate yourself? And yeah. it can be something that you don't realize. So sometimes you have to ask someone else for some advice. Yeah. And do you advise job seekers to reach out to recruiters or hiring manager after they apply on the company website or because the recruiters are so busy, they will not be reading? What's your thought about that? Um, there is no one right answer. I think a lot of it depends. Mm -hmm. What I always recommend people do is if you find a contact Mm -hmm. Perhaps you want to engage on some of their content. If you're going to send them a connection request after, let them know. And I don't even believe you should say, hey, I applied for a job on ABC. It should be more of a pivot. Like, I'm interested in working at your company. I'd like to learn more about your company. Mm -hmm. um, can you recommend something I can do? And then they let them take it from there. Because, again, recruiters, hiring managers, they can smell from a mile away mm -hmm. their requests are coming. But a lot of times they will say, oh, check our website and apply there. It's kind of a dry. It's not giving a lot of for job seeker too. So if they hear that, can they follow up again? They absolutely can follow up. But again, part of it is going to be understanding the process. If you're going to an ATS or an online job board, they may never get the resume because it doesn't match the, the mm -hmm. uh, criteria, the formula there. There's no one right answer for this. Every situation is different. I think mm. nothing else in job search, the two words you want to go by, are, it depends. There is, it depends on everything. Right. Some recruiters are much more willing to be engaged. Others are not. Um, yeah. It depends on the company. Yeah. Ideally, if you can find someone that you know with the company, a second connection, that's even the best way. It's even a better way. Yeah. If you go to the company page, you know, yeah. those things too. Yeah. I tell my clients, you know, identify maybe 10 or 15 companies that you want to work, follow them on LinkedIn, try to find someone, as you mentioned, to build a relationship, follow their content uh, and, you know, repost their content with your thoughts. That's where you get kind of a visibility from others, right? The other thing which just rolled out this past week, well, I don't know when this is going, there's a thing called actively recruiting. People have that that banner which says hiring on there. Yeah. You um do a search for people Mm -hmm. um, there's an actively hiring tab, which just rolled out and you select that, you'll find all the people that are actively hiring. Mm -hmm. And then that goes directly to their jobs. Now it's just for premium for now, but a lot of people ask me basic versus premium, definitely something worth trying at least for a, a yeah. month or so, because again, that's just another way to set, set, set yourself apart is to see that instead yeah. of doing that. And you can break that search down all different ways by company, by industry, yeah. all that yeah those are great tips uh can i thank you very much and again for the audience watching or listening if you have any other tips leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with kenneth